Welcome back guys. In the last video I showed you how to upload your images for sale on Shutterstock and today I want to show you how to upload your images for sale on Dreamstime, another huge stock photo website. If you're planning on selling your images online, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm making the most detailed guide on YouTube on how to do this. And now let's not talk more, let's move to work. To make an account on Dreamstime, you can uh, use the link from the description of this video or you can type www.dreamstime.com and uh, click on sign up for free. When you do that, uh, this pop-up will open and here you have to fill out your email address, your password and if you want to be my referral, you can put this code in the promo code field. I already have an account so I'm gonna turn this off and uh, click sign in and put my username and password over here and that will open this screen where you have my account link on the top when you click on my account this panel will open and you will see a lot of buttons uh, on the left side there is account management area where you can edit your profile um, look at your referral program uh, follow financial activity and even a lead your blog on dreams time which is very interesting on uh, on the top of that you have buyers area which is not very interesting for you if you are a contributor but on the right contributors area is important and uh, I advise you to explore this area and see where these links will lead you for example FTP upload button will show you the information to upload your images through FTP uh, we're gonna get to that later and then you have model release library um, where you can upload your model releases, property release library as well, where you're gonna upload your property releases. And then this button is uh, if you want to become an exclusive contributor for Dreams Time. I don't advise that because I like having my images on many websites. And uh, all these buttons mean something, so go through them and uh, see where they're gonna lead you. Uh, one button that we're gonna use now is upload content button if you click on that uh, this new screen will open and uh, you will see that you can upload images here so I'm gonna pick these two images and click upload and uh, after that dreams time has to process images which can take from one or two hours to a couple of days sometimes depending on the traffic so I'm gonna stop the video now and uh, come back later okay we are back uh, you see our two images here in unfinished files tab um, you have to choose if you're gonna upload these images with commercial license or editorial license we're gonna stick to commercial for now and I'm gonna cover editorial in one of the future videos so let's say that we want to sell these images for commercial purposes so I'm gonna click on commercial and uh, you can see the details about the image the image already has the title description as well because I entered that before and here you have kind of a hidden box where you can leave the note to the reviewer or editor um, sometimes I just like to leave have a nice day it doesn't hurt to wish a nice day to somebody and then choose at least one category for this image I always choose three just in case there is a lot of categories in dreams time and uh, you have to choose uh, at least one that is relevant to the image for example for this image children will be fine and then let's find the second one it can be something abstract like something that portrays some feeling or something like that so let's say abstract fun and then the third category can be something related to the season or nature let's say nature season specific keywords are here as you can see and uh, we can add new keywords by typing here when you click on comma on your keyboard Dreams time will save this new keyword geolocation is uh, very useful if your images are related to specific place like a tourist location or something like that 
If they're taken in the studio, then geolocation is not really important. If you click on this, you can see that you can enter the location manually. Or if your camera has GPS built in, then the location will be saved automatically. You don't have to worry about it. You have to zoom and um, click the exact location where the picture is taken and then click save location if you're entering it manually. Then close this box. Additional format link is uh, for you if you want to upload illustration. These first two checkboxes should be checked and the third one is if you want to sell the rights for the image which means if someone buys your image uh, and pays a certain price the image will not be yours anymore. The recommended price is this and you can change it if you want to. The next checkbox is if you want to give your image for free if the image doesn't pass the review. When you click it you will get this warning to make sure that you want to do it. And uh, the last checkbox is if you want to upload your image exclusively on Dreamstime, which means you will not be allowed to sell it on other websites. This image contains a model, so we have to upload the model release. Uh, whenever you upload a model release, it will be saved here and uh, you can use it later. If you don't have a model release for this model, you can click this link, fill out the information, click choose file, select your model release, open it and submit it. I'm not gonna do it now but you will see that your model release is attached to the image and later you can use it from this list over here. The last step is to click submit button and send your image for the review. Now let's see the second picture. I'm gonna delete this one because I don't want to upload it for real. The second picture is easier because it doesn't have any people in it. So again the same thing, fill out the title, description, choose the categories. For this image the categories would probably be, uh, let's say travel, destination scenics because this is Miami Beach. And then again travel, uh, America. And it can also be travel and tropical. Of course, uh, you can use other categories like architecture and stuff like that. But let's leave it for now like this. Geolocation, again, if it's saved automatically, great. If it's not, we can put it manually. There are no any model releases that we need to add for this. And then, again, these checkboxes will be saved as before. Because Dreamstime remembers your last choice. So I'm gonna delete this image as well. And uh, when you're done with uh, submitting images, they will be here in this pending files tab. You can see them and the estimate time for the review. Let's see now how to upload images to Dreamstime using Xpix. Open Xpix and click add files. Choose your images, click open. Click start import to import any existing metadata. And you can see that my images already have descriptions, titles and keywords. To add new keywords you can start typing them manually and uh, Xpix will suggest keywords for you. You can also separate keywords by clicking comma on your keyboard. If your image doesn't have any keywords you can add them using Xpix and I want to show you that again. First I have to clear all my keywords from this box, so let me do that. And then I'm gonna click suggest and Xpix will open this window. Here I need to type most relevant keywords for my image which is boy dandelion and click search. I'm gonna find images similar to mine, click on few of those and uh, Keywords for these images that are overlapping will be added to this top box. Other keywords that are not the same for all these images are gonna be put in the lower box where it says other keywords. So far Xpix chose 45 keywords for me and I can add more of those by clicking this plus sign in the lower box. 
Just be careful not to add any spammy keywords. So check the upper box for any words that are not relevant for this picture and uh, take them out. Now when I'm happy with uh, all the metadata, I'm gonna select both images and click save. Start export and XPix will save metadata for these images. After that, I need to click upload and choose FTP host. Uh, to save Dreamstime FTP host, we need to add the information. So I'm going to click add FTP host and here we have to fill out the information for Dreamstime. Let me show you how. The title can be anything, you can just put Dreamstime. The host is upload.dreamstime.com and the username is your Dreamstime number. You can access that number if you go to your contributors area click on FTP upload and then here in the right up corner of the main section you have FTP details. This username, user ID, this number you have to put back in XPix over here where it says username. And then the password is your Dreamstime login password. When you're done with that you can just click start upload and XPix will save Dreamstime for your future usage. I'm not gonna upload this image now, I'm just gonna click close. When you're done with uploading, your images will be sent to the unfinished area on Dreamstime, just like before. And then you can proceed with uh, adding categories, uh, model releases if needed, property releases as well if needed and uh, after that you just need to click submit to send the image for the review. After submitting the images you can just wait for the review to be done. And that was all about uploading images for sale on Dreamstime. In the next video I'm gonna do a recap of all the important things from creating the photo to uploading it for sale so you don't miss any step in the process. If you like this video press that like button Leave a comment, ask me a question, or subscribe if you still didn't. See you in the next video. Bye.